Hello YouTube and welcome back to World of Warships with Wadrace and today's video I have the tier 7 brand new Russian battleship the Sinop and well this is going to be uh, my review video for her so as per my uh, usual habit of late I am going to be running her in three matches and these are consecutive matches so just to uh, get a relative overall feel for her as uh, as a ship and uh, just uh, kind of get a very solid idea of how she performs. Um, a couple of these battles are actually going to be pretty short unfortunately just due to the fact that I actually ended up running into some uh, full player teams which in co-op is relatively rare actually but they do make for very quick matches on a regular basis so sometimes sometimes you don't get the greatest impression for how they feel but you know what again this is my this is my channel i am doing these from the perspective of a co-op player not from the perspective of a random battle player so it it it, it works it fits regardless so uh just uh, bear with me and i guess uh, enjoy the video of course the first match here is on the trident map and if i'm gonna be perfectly honest trident really isn't the best map for uh most battleships depending on which side of the map you actually start off on just because there's all kinds of islands in the way and well when you're talking these uh russian battleships which have much flatter shell trajectories and these islands aren't exactly uh small should i say um just getting a shot at anything in the early stages of a match is not easy to in most battleships let alone something that doesn't even have phenomenal main battery range to start with like say the Sinop. Sinop only has a 17 kilometer main battery range which is yeah at times I can say you definitely feel that shorter range it doesn't help you very much at all so it uh you you definitely feeling like you miss that uh extra kilometer or two or so of range as opposed to other battleships in a lot of situations um, especially where you actually do have targets that start popping up at long range and you just can't really do much of anything about them because well they're not actually in range um, most other battleships at, at tier 7 are more than capable of uh, taking targets out at 20, 19, 18 kilometers, and Sinop really only has 17.4 kilometers in her favor for her main battery range. So yeah, it, uh, it, 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 it can be interesting. Now I do, one thing that I will say is that uh, the situational accuracy of the Russian battleships, especially when you start getting into the higher tiers, is very interesting to uh, not put too fine a point on it. You will definitely have uh, some of the shots you'll take at longer range where they'll the, the, the rounds, everything will just go absolutely uh, wild and not really hit much of anything. And then you'll have these closer in targets where you hit them and you can actually drill them for pretty substantial amounts of damage as long as your aim is good. Something that I am actually going to uh, be proving here in just a moment. <laughs> Originally I was lining up on this Sharn horse, but you know what? I realized the Sinop's probably a uh, better target. <laughs> and, uh, well, let's just say I'm not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Four Citadels, one Salvo. Um... And that sign-up didn't even really know what hit it. 
uh, earned 49 points for the uh, team honor for that match. So uh, good earnings all around. Almost matched the uh, actual battle victory earnings. 79,000 damage done, 130,000 credits earned, 2,000 EXP, 489 free EXP. 18 main battery hits, not that I had much that I could shoot at. Uh, again, four citadels, four ship kills, and... Or, sorry, three ship kills. And overall, respectable, considering... Oh, yeah, 493 base EXP, which... Let's just say that uh, Cyanop that I just absolutely deleted in the last few seconds of the match, yeah, I thoroughly skyrocketed to uh, that top position on the team. I mean, look look at that. Before that, I only had maybe, what, 20,000 damage, and then I hit the Cyanop, and yeah. Um, I, I actually feel sorry that I stole the top position on the team from uh, everybody else with that one shot, but you know what? I'll 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 take it, considering I wasn't doing too well for the remain for the uh, earlier stages of that match. Um, I I really did not get to do much overall over the course of that match, just because everything just went so quickly, and uh, yeah almost reflected in my uh, actual battle earnings. As far as other stats, I mean... 20,000 damage tanked. Um, I only fired, what, 36 shells total over the course of the match. So, I mean, that... I mean, my accuracy was lousy. Everything just kind of went uh, really lousy for that match. 101,000 credits earned net for the match, so thankfully I did at least uh, come out with a profit. And the commander earned 3,152 EXP. Um, this was also a match where I, I, I don't think I really had any modifiers aside from just the basic camouflage, so on and so forth. So nothing really adding to or taking away substantially from the earnings, so those are ba basic raw numbers in most cases. Now we come on to match two, and this one is going to be much better in showcasing the Synops capabilities. Um, yeah, there are still a uh, handful of uh, bots on the friendly team, but uh, also mostly uh still mostly uh, uh an actual player team which a at least in this case I can say that I'm in a situation where if I have things that uh, are actually in range to shoot at in f for the most part I'm actually going to be able to shoot at them so there is that one nice little bonus in that I know that, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be stuck waiting for a target to actually be able to shoot at, even though I've got stuff that's in range, but behind cover. And, well, let's just say that this match is going to be much, much better than the last one in that regard. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention, just uh, as a quick note, is that with the Russian battleships, Sinop, that, that we've gotten to uh, actually get early access to so far, the, the accuracy at long range is not... Well, it, 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 it does kind of have those German accuracy-ish kind of moments where you'll pull the trigger and everything just kind of seems to go wild no matter uh, how well aimed you are actually uh, have your shot. But that being said, I do want to make a point of saying that the long-range accuracy of the Russian battleships is still usable. They're better against targets at closer range, but they are not worthless at targets at, at max range. You just have to be understanding of the fact that they're not going to be as 
accurate as some others. So just that that's just something to kind of have in the back of your mind when you're working with these battleships. Um, but when it comes down to, say, Leander's at uh, 10 kilometers, the range, the, the accuracy of these guns can be trusted very much to uh, do a reasonable chunk of uh, damage. I mean, that grouping is beautiful, and if I had aimed just a little bit better, that Leander probably would not have survived that hit. Um, I needed like a, about a half second more lead on those shells, I think, but you know what? Overall, it, it, it wasn't a bad shot. I still chunked it for about 10,000. The Furutaka, however, yeah, that one's not going to be so lucky. <laughs> Goodbye, Furutaka. <laughs> yeah, I anything 10 kilometers or less, these guns are accurate enough to basically drill all of its shells into them regardless. So that that is one of the things that I do think will definitely make the... Uh, Russian battleships a bit of fresh air, but at the same time, I've kind of got to wonder what it's going to do as far as the uh, player base in regards to just uh, how they handle them and kind of start responding to some of the other battleships. So that that's, I guess, just one thing to be uh, curious of as we move forward forwards. Of course, I uh, did mostly wipe another uh, finish off that Leander. I didn't get the kill shot on it. I do try to uh, give the enemy Emerald the good news as well. Certainly uh, do the vast majority of damage to it as well. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the kill shot on it either. That That's one of the other things that I'm kind of having issues with with these Russian battleships is that I can do all kinds of bow, bow tank or, or bow penetration damage on some of these cruisers, especially at closer ranges, but it kind of seems like their damage might be a little bit on the lackluster side when they're penetrating cruisers that are kind of bow on or whatever. Definitely, they, they, they definitely do better at uh, hitting cruisers when they're at... Uh, broadside rather than bow on and actually doing enough damage to properly eliminate them but you know what as long as I can wipe away the fair chunk of health I suppose that really doesn't matter too much the uh, enemy Koenig comes along I'm just kind of trying to keep my bow on it and uh yep goodbye <laughs> That is one of the, the other nice things about having, I, I guess I could say, slightly bigger guns for a tier 7 battleship, is, uh, yeah, they uh, really hit hard and they hurt. They really do hurt <laughs> when they hit. And I will also go as far as saying that uh, tier 5 battleships, if you're in the sign-op, yeah, they're probably not going to like you too much, just because you do have a lot of reasonable firepower, and if they're even at marginally close range, you will do a lot of damage to them in a very short time frame. So that match finished off. 42 points earned for the team. Unfortunately, I did not come anywhere near as close to uh, matching the points earnings for the uh, actual victory. But this match was at least better in showcasing what the sign-up was capable of. 112,000 damage, 119, almost 120,000 credits, um, 1.5k EXP, 372 free EXP, almost doubled the uh, actual number of shell hits from the previous match at 28. Not quite double, but still substantially better than it was. Also got 44 secondary battery hits, which is very reasonable. But this place, I can at least say that I properly earned the first place on the team. So 
there is that nice little bit of a trade-off as well. And that I, I actually did a reasonable chunk of damage. I did a reasonable spread of damage for that matter. And I actually earned my placing in this case instead of just being randomly skyrocketed to the top of the team at the last few seconds. And there were other statistics going in my favor as well, uh, because I actually did get to do a lot more this match. Um, I tanked almost a million damage. Um, fires, 2,000 points worth of damage. Secondary batteries, 8,000... Wow. 8,000 damage just from the secondary batteries. And that's 8,000 points even. That's not something you see every day. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, very just... And looking at the damage that I did to the enemy ships, I mean, 11,000, 12,000, 20, 21, 22, 23, that's very solid damage numbers across the board for every target that I chose to focus on. So definitely a much better representation for how this ship performs relative to the uh, previous match. And, I mean, overall, definitely... Not not bad. I also came away with a profit of 86,000 credits, and the commander earned 2,600 EXP, which, again, very, very good, respectable earnings in many regards. Now, at this point, I was also kind of stopping to think, you know what, I can't really do too much better. Yeah, um, let's just say this next match is going to prove that wrong very, very quickly. So, um, yeah, for, for, for this final match, which also, by the way, was when I was actually finally starting to get the hang of the ship, as I might add, to, uh, as far as just, uh, making sure she was properly angled to, uh, targets and whatnot to mitigate damage. Yeah, let's let's just say that uh, that this, this match really opened my eyes a lot to uh, how the sign op handles in uh, well let, let, let's say in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> While this match is getting going, however, uh, one of the things that I do want to mention in regards to the uh, consumables for the Russian battleships. Because now there is an actual hard and fast limit to the number of uh, uses on the damage control party. At least for the Russian battleships. Probably to balance out some of their firepower, I guess, a little bit. Um, but with that being in mind, I actually find myself kind of being very wary of when I'm using my damage control to uh, actually con control some of the... Uh, damage that's coming in it's um because i am recognizing the fact that if i use it too liberally i'm just going to run out of charges and i'm not going to have it in later stages of the match when i'm probably going to need it most and by the way yeah that that shot at the shores that's a good example of uh, just how trollish the accuracy can be at long range um, just keep in mind that, again, the accuracy at long range is usable. It's just, yeah, it it, it, it can throw you some real curveballs every now and then. So uh, just, just, just uh, definitely something to keep in mind in regards to the uh, Russian battleship accuracy. The Furutaka, on the other hand, at uh, sub 10 kilometers, yeah, that was a much better uh, hit to uh, not put too fine a point on it. And just kind of waiting for that Shores to peek its nose around the corner. Unfortunately, I think that uh, hit... Yeah, that, 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 that one gun salvo really didn't uh, go very well. And unfortunately, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I also eat torps from the Furutaka. Um... Downside is, it did cause flooding, and I did decide to uh, pop damage control because I was already on low enough health, health from the torp hits. I really didn't want to be taking flooding damage for even just one flood over the full period. That, that, that would have just been too much damage to uh, 
really handle, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for. Just trying to finish off the shores, get a nice uh, bow penetration at least, finish her off. And now it's down to the uh, battleships that have a beautiful <laughs> view of my broadside. Yeah, that, 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 that hurt. Fortunately, the one battleship is chasing our TK cruiser off the side of the map, so he's, he's not going to shoot at me too much longer. Though I am still trying to angle to both it and the battleships uh, that are more towards the center of the map so that I can mitigate damage and at least wait for my uh, d repair party to come online. And yeah, I'm really, really hurting for that repair party too. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely... Um, it's definitely getting very tight, to uh, say the least. <laughs> I'm at, what, 3,500 health right now? And yeah, it, it's um, really close. Fortunately, I am uh, looking at the broadside of the enemy sign up, at least for the first little bit here. And I do drill one citadel out of her. And finally, repair parties back up. Fortunately, the King George is going to be on the other side of the island here very shortly, so the only things that can really shoot at me are the enemy Koenig and the Synop right in front of me. In which case, th this was also a very good case in point for understanding the uh, how well uh, the Synop's armor actually works out. Um, to uh, which point, I kind of have to say, um, yeah... The only way you're really, really safe from absorbing an incredible amount of damage in the Synop is if you are looking at a target perfectly bow on. And um, the, in, the entire reasoning for that is the secondary battery uh, little casemate cutout sort of sections above the uh, main line of the hull. Yeah. Those will absorb penetrating damage, like it's nobody's business. Um, and there are areas where if you're even just, if you're slightly angled, yeah, shells will still go straight in through those panels and uh, do quite a substantial amount of damage. So, yeah, um, the only way you're really going to save yourself from an incredible amount of damage from enemy uh, incoming fire is if you are thoroughly stern on or bow on to a target. Because, um, again, otherwise, even if they just kind of brush your side when you're, uh, look when you're looking at them at, say, 10, 15, 20 degrees out, yeah, they're, 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 their shells are still going to plunge right into those casemate cutouts, and you will eat damage like it's nobody's business. So that is one of the things that you kind of have to watch out for very, 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 very carefully with the sign up is uh, just your angling is very important. And the downside is with the sign up that rear gun, it doesn't fully traverse all the way around. If you want to get your all of your guns on target, you are well and truly exposing way too much of your ship to actually uh, mitigate all, all of the damage that would be coming in otherwise. Because again, those casemate bunkers, they're way too open, there's way too many flat surfaces, even angled, or marginally angled, to enemy ships for the enemy to hit and just do full damage to you. So that's just one of the things that I do want to warn players about with regards to these ships. And not just the sign up. This applies to all of the Russian battleships that I've had a chance to work with so far. Beyond that, though, this was a phenomenal match. 164,000 damage done to various enemy ships. Almost 200,000 credits earned. 2,004 EXP, 476 free EXP. Uh, 55 main battery hits, 3 kills, 4 fires, 
68 secondary battery hits, and j j these ships do not have the greatest secondary battery defenses either, so the, those are some pretty good, uh, solid secondary battery numbers to... Uh, for, for, for a ship that really does not have the greatest secondary armament. Um, 595 base EXP earned. I more than earned that in this match. Just from the simple fact that I was facing off against three battleships at close range, and even though I was still taking a good chunk of damage, I was very, very definitely holding my own. Um, that King George, 50,000 damage, 31,000 damage to the Koenig, uh, 50,000 damage done to the Sinop, which unfortunately I didn't actually get the kill on. Um, 141,000 damage done just by my main battery. Uh, 8,700 from the secondary batteries. Another th almost 13,500 done from fires that were set by my secondary batteries. So very respectable damage numbers. Potential damage. 1.12 million damage tanked. Um, holy crap. I, I Keep in mind, this is a tier 7 battleship in a top tier match, and I've tanked more damage in this ship than I've actually managed in a lot of my tier 9 and 10 battles. So very... If there is one thing that I can say about this ship is that as long as you angle her correctly, she will definitely, her armor will tank a shitload of damage. Um, overall damage, I received 80, almost 87,000 damage total from en enemy ships. Um, so almost half again my actual full HP pool. Um, it, it, it really was a tight match. 163,000 credits earned net. So that's my actual profit for the match. And the commander on this ship earned 3,311 EXP. And again, this is without any major modifiers on the ship, aside from just a lot of the basics from the clan and a couple of minor flags that I decided to add on. So very, very basic numbers. Um, but yeah, just, uh, pulling off to the side to look at the ship here in port, I kind of wanted to just kind of point out a little bit of what I was talking about in regards to the, uh, armor profile of this ship and those casemates. I mean, when you're looking at her straight on, yeah, she's got a beautiful armor profile. I mean, you're, you really don't see much of those casemates at all. But you open her up just a little bit, and those little forward casemates, yeah, suddenly those will start absorbing damage. If you pull her out to the side even just a little bit more, uh, yeah, per perfectly straight on, not much to uh, actually hit. No, no major flat surfaces to penetrate, nothing. But the moment you get out broadside, open her up, yeah, those casemates, those will start absorbing damage like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, on that note, that is the Synop. Definitely a nice, strong ship under the right circumstances. And I hope this uh, tells you how she works. Have a good one. Happy hunting, folks.